This video documentary is about Harriet Tubman. Hi, my name is Davion Rodriguez Ruth, and today we're here with Moira Jean Fitzgerald. What information do you know about Harriet Tubman? Well, I've shared quite a bit with you already, uh, but I will say that she worked in the fields as a child because of the hit in her head, which it turned out to be quite an asset because she became very, very strong. So, what do you know about the Underground Railroad? Well, I know that the term Underground Railroad started in Columbia, Pennsylvania. And we have, uh, on our walking tour here in Lancaster, we have three national parks gold star so we have three stops that are part of the national underground railroad and there are some in columbia as well this is where the slaves would hide on their way to freedom um what are some of the main places where you could see underground railroads um so what you're really asking is where could you see safe stations or safe houses you can see some in lancaster county um, York County, the William Goodrich House in downtown New York on Philadelphia Street is a good one to uh, check out because you can literally be in it and see it. Hi, my name is Daviani Rodriguez Reeves and today we're interviewing Mr. Bear. Hello, I'm Mr. Bear, 7th grade social studies teacher here at Reynolds Middle School. You know Harriet Tubman worked by herself and with anyone else? No, um, the great thing about the Underground Railroad and the great thing about Harriet Tubman is you couldn't work alone. She was been, she was fantastic because she conducted a lot of the missions on her own, but with the help of other people. So, what information do you know about Harriet Tubman? So I know that Harriet Tubman, and I've studied extensively uh, American history, but uh, Harriet Tubman was known as a conductor of the Underground Railroad and helped numerous uh, slaves escape from the South and uh, earn their freedom in the North. Harriet Tubman was one of many conductors that helped free slaves through the railroad. Do you know if Harriet Tubman worked by herself or if she worked with someone else? So, I mean, while she was the conductor of the Underground Railroad, there were definitely numerous people involved. There were people that gave up their houses, gave up their money to help slaves escape to freedom. And uh, so while they might not have been conductors, they were definitely part of the Underground Railroad, so she definitely wasn't working alone. Harriet Tubman knew Stephen Smith and they worked with William Whipper to build new secret compartments in trains so that the enslaved could hide in them. Do you know if Harriet Tubman worked by herself or did she work with other people? Harriet Tubman worked by herself, but she relied on trusted people. She uh, was armed, she carried a pistol. Uh, and she, uses, she used disguises. We didn't talk about that. Sometimes she would disguise herself as a farmhand, carrying, dressed as a farmhand, carrying chickens. Sometimes she would dress up more like a lady, and if she was traveling by train or carriage, she would have a newspaper in front of her as if she was reading it, even though she was illiterate. Um, however, she was a uh, well-known speaker, so she didn't read or write, but she spoke eloquently. Do you know some of the routes of the Underground Railroad? Uh, some of the routes would have been by land coming up through York County. And some of the routes would have been by land coming up through Lancaster County and also along the Chesapeake and the Susquehanna River. This is another picture of the Underground Railroad. And in fact, the pots in the, in the picture are artifacts that were found in this area. My personal opinion is she should be on our $20 bill, at the very least. <laughs> and um, she would be what I would call a heroine. You know, her story, you know, unfortunately we use the word history. I think it should be history, her story. Uh, because there are many, many women who have been heroines uh, throughout our American history. And what fascinates me about American history is the untold stories. And there are many, many. Thank you. That's all. So what's your personal opinion on Harriet Tubman? Right, so my personal opinion is she's a hero. Harriet Tubman's a hero. She helped numerous slaves escape to freedom and should be considered a hero throughout history. What's your personal opinion on Harriet Tubman? Um, one of the things that always fascinated me about Harriet Tubman was her role in the Civil War. Not only was she a conductor, but during the Civil War, she actually fought in the Civil War, and she was one of the only women to ever get credited to um, complete a successful mission in battle. 
where she had a raid um, with the Colonel James Montgomery and then they um, rescued 700 slaves. My personal opinion on Harriet Tubman is that she is a hero and that she should forever be remembered in history and that she was an amazing person. And she is a frontier in history because she helped a lot of enslaved African Americans escape to freedom. And she could have gotten herself killed if someone found out about that. What I think about Harriet Tubman is that she is a courageous, um, brave woman that had to go through a lot of hard situations. And why I think she's a frontier is also because she um, had many milestones in history and in African-American history, and yeah. Um, I think Harriet Tubman is a frontier in history because she helped a lot of slaves, and not only did she help slaves get to freedom, but she helped other people be able to get slaves to freedom and teach them how to do it. I What I think about Harriet Tubman is that she is a wonderful, brave, and courageous woman. What I think of Harriet Tubman is that she is a brave and amazing person because she helped many slaves escape. Um, Harriet Tubman is a frontier in history because she helped break those boundaries by like help freeing slaves. What I think about Harriet Tubman is that she's an amazing woman and she should forever be remembered in history. I think that Harriet Tubman is a frontier in history because she helps so many slaves escape and she just helps so many other people not even thinking about herself.